Hey, what's up guys? Otto here. So here's our app. It's pretty plain and basic. It doesn't really do anything right now. The next step I want to prepare is I want to be able to go to a private route. So we have our JSON web token and with that web token, we can create our private route in our server and we can go to another screen to display private information such as chats. So I want to add a bottom navigation bar here. So when we click a button, it goes to a place for the logout button and a place for our private route. So to do that, I'm going to open up my browser. I'm going to go ahead and type flutter bottom navigation, hit enter. And we'll see here, um, we're looking for a flutter Flutter, 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 bottom navigation bar. How about that? There you go. This is what we want. And we see that we have this uh, example for us and example code. And this is what the example code looks like. All right, you got our business, got our school, and we could change these. We just need the example code for this. So we're going to take it all, copy that and go to our app I'm going to scroll all the way down bottom navigation can be at the end of the code and we paste it in and we need to clean it up here so we don't need this material we already have that look at all this um, comment code we don't need that we don't need to run main again we already, we already did that and we're not going to use it in this fashion to have in my app we already have the app we're just going to add it to the app. And so that looks good. So let's use this, my state, my stateful widget. We're going to be using that and plug it into um, our application. So first, let's go ahead and go to our landing screen, which is right here. We already have a skull fold. And now at the end of the skull fold here, I'm going to add a comma so we can see it. Okay, and about right here, uh, where col column is, I hit made some space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the app bar here, which is the, it's going to be the bottom, excuse me, bottom navigation bar. Hit enter, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste that widget in there. Save it. Restart my app. And there you go, guys. So first thing, I want to rename this this my stateful widget I'm gonna go ahead and hit control F and type bottom nav that's a good name and then go ahead and change all those names to bottom nav and there you go next up is we have to do something about this display we, we don't want to see index or index 2 we want to display the screen and we want to get our old screen back, the landing page. So to do that, we need to get rid of a few things here. Like this, we're not going to use up until we get to selected, selected index variable. And clean that up. And inside this set state, we're going to add some logic in. And we're getting an error here. And what we can do is just leave that there for now. Let's just clean it up right now delete all this and we're gonna have to delete this as well so go ahead and hit alt so we can select that and then hit delete boom clean that right up and right here we get an error because we need to add a semicolon and now it's all cleaned up now we're ready to add some logic here right under this selected index what we're gonna do is add some simple logic here some if statements and the first one's going to say if index index is equal to zero, then what I want to do is I want to navigate navigator dot push named and route name. We want to go to the landing page because this is going to be the home. Zero is going to be the home. So 
landing landing screen dot id all right we're going to test that out go ahead and open up our simulator and there it is home is equal to home now for uh, the business uh, we're going to change that to log out for example so let's go down here and go to uh, actually let's go to school and for school we'll say log out all right and we'll create copy this and do it twice so for index one and index two and this will go to our logout screen so let's go ahead and type logout screen and we notice we haven't built it yet so if we I'm gonna scroll down and build it right here st and it's gonna be a stateless widget and we're gonna just call it log out screen. Okay, and let's give it an ID. Oh, sorry. Let's give it an ID static const string ID equals um, log out screen. All right, and now for this uh, display, we can put anything here. And we'll put a skull fold here. And inside we'll have a body. And in that body, we're going to need a few things. Um, one thing on top of my head is we'll just do a test and just type text and type log out. Save. All right, guys, if you go to test it and try to use it, log out, you'll get this error right here at the bottom. And it's going to say, could not generate the route, route settings log out null in the app widget state. The reason for this error is because we didn't add the route to the main. So if you go up here, all the way up, all the way up, here you go. You'll see that. Where's the logout route? Where's the logout screen? It's not here, right? We gotta add it. That's what it's complaining about. So we go logout screen. Boom, save. And you might wanna do a, a full restart there. Now go to the app, test it out. There it is. Now <laughs> the text is right on the top because we didn't add any styling the text is here on top so let's we can fix that real quick with some styling and we go down to uh, logout screen and what we're going to need is um, a button anyway so what we can do is we could just add the button but what i'm going to do is add a column here so i'm going to wrap this with a column and then in the column, there's a property called main axis alignment. We used it before. Main axis alignment dot center, and that will center our text. There's our logout, and I don't know why it's over to the side. And I believe it's over to the side because we need to center that as well at a center widget. So to do that, um, click the text, wrap it with the center save and go back to logout and there you go your logout is text is centered now let's add that logout button as well and that button is located in our landing screen what we're going to do is just grab it and paste it in so here it is take the entire thing and the function as well let's see here and go down and we want to paste it in under the text add a comma there to make it nicer save test it go to logout and there you go our logout and our logout uh, button so you notice that there's no bottom navigation bar here when we go to the logout because we don't have it here in the skull fold of the logout screen so we need to add one so we go here bottom navigation bar and bottom nav and now save and there it is
So we go log out. All right, guys, we got the bottom navigation working. So I don't want this video getting too long here. So we're going to go ahead and stop here. If you got something out of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.